Ladies and gentlemen, now forming at the north end of Kyle Field, the nationally famous Fighting Texas Aggie Band.
20 left and right flanks to spread formation as the band sounds off to their own rendition of March Conquest and the grand finale of Wagner's Fanfare. Okay, let's go our song. until 1956. The Block T has only formed on Kyle Field at a home football game since then, but returns today. displaying the values of honor, integrity, discipline, and selfless service. Few universities have served our country like Texas A&M. For more than a century, more than 50,000 Aggies have gone to battle for this nation on every continent on the globe. During World War II, more than 20,000 Aggies served in combat, while better than 14,000 officers were commissioned, more than the combined totals of the United States Naval and Military Academies. To date, 25 Aggies have died in the current global war on terror. More than 250 Aggies have served as generals or flag officers in our armed forces. And seven former students of Texas A&M have been awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, our nation's highest military award for bravery. Today's Corps of Cadets is stronger than ever and is one of the largest uniformed bodies in the nation. And the Corps still commissions more officers than any institution in our nation other than the service academies. The Keepers of the Spirit have continued to uphold Texas A&M's most hallowed traditions. To 
Today marks the return of a core in Texas A&M tradition, the formation of the Block T by the entire core of cadets on Kyle Field during game day. Ladies and gentlemen, before you now, in front of the 12th man, the 2,000 plus members of the 2011-2012 Texas A&M Corps of Cadets. have served in combat operations around the world and have returned home to pursue their education. How about a hand for these individuals who have served their country and are now members of the Corps of Cadets? And a special thank you to all the veterans who are Of the Spirit, the 2011-2012 Corps of Cadets. 